Now, y'all have, uh, y'all have heard the stories of uh, my family and, uh, you know, where we come from, with, you know, out on Sand Mountain, out in the country. And, uh, you know, when I was a younger man, my brother and I decided that we were going to raise pigs. Now, you could go to my Uncle Bonnie's house and, uh, you know, his farm and get just in about anything, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, he had pigs running around everywhere chickens and uh, you know i've talked about getting the chickens in a bucket when we were kids you know they were everywhere you know like before we went out and uh you know worked in the fields or uh you know I, my job was you know because i was uh 10 or 12 years old was to drive the fertilizer truck <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fertilizer well, well probably manure yeah. <laughs> like, well no they called it sody sody yeah but yeah. But anyway, and then uh, there was a there was a thing on the back. You know, you slid it up, and you put the fertilizer in a in two uh, five gallon buckets, and then you went out to the tractor. And uh, I mean, these fields were long, right? So the the rows would get shorter and shorter. It don't matter if it's a mile away. I had to take those buckets over there. And by the time I got back and got the fertilizer and got back, he was back on another row or whatever. So it was a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, anyway, so we went to our Uncle Bonnie and said, listen, we want to we wanna raise some pigs. And he's like, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> I'm like, yes, yes. So at the time, I was living, uh, he was in uh, Flat Rock. Uh, well, Fabius is really the place that, uh, where my brother uh, lived. And um, I lived in Rosalie at the time. This and is all in Alabama. This is all in Alabama, yeah. Oh. So yeah. see... He puts me down about Alabama, but he comes from Alabama, too. <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time there. I'm a Tennessee boy. I didn't come from Alabama, but I sure as hell spent a lot of time there. <laughs> yeah. Because that's where our family was from, you know, that's my mama's right. side. Uh, my dad's family from Georgia. But uh, anyway, so uh, we decide we're going we're gonna to get, so we get two pigs. All right, one each. All right, and you we and who? Yeah, me and, and me and my brother Sam. Sam. Yeah, and uh, we we were convinced we knew what the hell we were doing. Okay, and so we went to my place, and what we were going to do is build a pig pen. We built a, uh, a pig barn. We built we built a uh, ramp to put the the have the pigs come out of the the truck. Man, it was pretty. It was pretty. Uh, we put we put the fence up uh, all the way around where the pigs are going to be holding at. You know, we even built a nice uh, thing to 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 go on the back of the truck. You know, that uh, all made out of wood, of course. You know, the truck was like this. <laughs> and uh, so we went and got the pigs, and we bring them home to my place in Rosalie. Sure enough, the truck worked fine, the gate worked fine, the ramp worked fine, and then the pigs go down, and right up under the fence they went. <laughs> now we spent uh, a better part of a week and a half chasing these pigs all right? <laughs> they uh there was a jason farm next to mine in rosalie that that was you know probably about 500 acres or whatever and these pigs you know remember now it's two it's a it's it's two um female pigs against two brothers Okay, <laughs> and uh, you know, you there's not a, a, an easy way to catch a wild pig, and there's, right? and there's not much uh, when it comes to uh, female pigs. Yeah, sows, sows, every sows. Day. Yeah, they are stubborn. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not like you can lasso a pig. Nope, you can't do that because <laughs> of the way they are. You know, uh, you, you can't just grab a hold of them. You know, because you can't catch them. Uh, you know, so you, you got to figure out a way to uh, catch these pigs. So we, I'm telling you, we camped out. We made plans. There was a point there where we were like, well, I guess we're just going to have to shoot them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> can't do that. All right. Because we've already invested all this. We got to raise these pigs. So it come down to where uh, we finally found them down in a creek. And uh, we set this trap to where when they walk through, it would get around their legs, right? Well, that didn't work, all right? And then uh, the next day, we set the trap a little better, about three days or whatever. We finally caught the uh, last them around their legs to where we could uh, uh, get a hold of them and get them back in the truck and get them back to the house, you know. But uh, <laughs> that was probably, my brother Sam loved to tell the story about those crazy pigs because uh, that's that was probably, we spent more time 
chasing those pigs together than we ever have doing anything in our entire life. Okay. <laughs> you know, and we built us a fire out there, and, uh, you know, we we just uh, stayed after it, man. We were determined. These pigs were not going to get the best of us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, when we got them back, we put them back in the barn that we had built, you know, locked them in the barn, and then we learned how to build a real fence to keep pigs in. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you got to put wood along the bottom, or they'll just go right up under it. And, uh, you know, then you got to put uh, rings in their nose uh, so they won't root uh, up under fences and stuff like that. I mean, we learned a lot, but... Uh, I guess we learned what not to do to begin with, and uh, but that's the that's a who let the pigs out, you know, because it, it it wasn't us. The pigs just ran away. Okay. Yes. And um, but we got them. We got them back, and uh, you know they was we went and told our uncle Bonnie about it. You know, he's like, what well, Bonnie said, how, how do you? He's like. I asked y'all specifically, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you have? You know, because he would have sows uh, and boars that were five, six hundred pounds. Yeah. I mean, you know, as a kid growing up out there, they looked like dinosaurs to me. <laughs> they were huge. Huge. And uh, he was he was big time. I mean, it wasn't nothing for him to, to take a, a trailer load. Uh, pigs off to the sale or whatever you know so a big time farmer there but that's one of our favorite stories that my brother sam uh loved to talk about uh when it come to he and i and you know i the other day when i posted about him passing away i was talking about you know back then we didn't have two nickels rubbed together we didn't we cut our own firewood uh we raised our own animals we did all that stuff that was the hardest living that i've ever done which is, you know, now one of the hippie chicks, she talks about, you know, I want chickens, I want this. I'm like, not me. Not me. <laughs> he doesn't want any of it. <laughs> not me. I've even showed her pictures of me back in the day, you know, with he overalls. He was a cutie with stuff. his overalls. He, he wasn't no bigger than a minute. He was starving to death. <laughs> yeah, I was starving to death. Because, you know, if you could get a potato to grow in the ground and you didn't have time to enjoy it, you say, here, kids, come here and eat this. <laughs> Slice a potato this many ways. Build a fire. Let's cook it. <laughs> Ed says he just can't see you as a farmhand. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Well, I've got pictures to prove it Ed I'll show them to you when you come it, he he was cute he he yeah. was so tiny though I mean he was like probably looked like he was a hundred pounds <laughs> in a pair of overalls well you know and I was thinking about this when I was you know when I was up on the mountain this week you know because what pisses me off what really pisses me off to, to drive across that mountain is to see all these telephone co-ops yeah yeah okay back in the day the telephone co-op ruled us by the long distance calls yeah now my brother andy's probably listening and and you know he he knows uh he was he knows in, all about he, it. he retired from the phone company after 40 years i mean you know when when he started the phone company ma bell was a teenager <laughs> okay <laughs> but anyway uh you know you you couldn't call uh 20 miles away, you know, whatever. It'd be long, long distance. distance. Like, I couldn't come call home and talk to mom and daddy because it was long distance. I know. Many a times I called Cliff. If I drive <laughs> from my house in East Brainerd out to the valley yeah. where you, you know, you ran around, mm -hmm. if I drove out there, it to call home would be, or Flintstone. Yeah. It'd be long distance long to call distance. home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Telephone co-ops. And that's mm -hmm. not far away. It's just a few miles. Telephone farmers co-op is yeah, what they call it. Farmers. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. yeah, but that was rough living, man. I, I'll tell you right now, I mean, uh, my dad used to say that, uh, man, y'all are the hardest working people being poor I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> But we had fun. Uh, like I said, we you know we get uh, uh, Miller High Life. You know you get Miller High Life by the twelve pack, and we take that into the woods and go cut firewood. And uh, you know we cut firewood. We'd have a beer, cut more firewood, and have, have another, another beer, beer. You know. But uh, yeah, those were the days um, of who let the pigs out. It was not us. It was uh, you know the damn fence that we didn't learn how to build. <laughs>